User joined your channel. Hi, Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Yep. Hey, Oscar. Been a while. Everyone, drink what? Coke. Uh, I don't have to, currently. <laughs> In here. I did drink this. I did just drink some milk after finishing my cereal, so. <laughs> what time is it over there? Oh, more. 3.54 p.m. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's still. Like, it's it's still. Still. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, still. Yeah, it's 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 because uh, I think we're going to be recording this and uploading it to YouTube, uh, I'd like to keep swearing to a minimum. Um, really, that's a note to myself more than anything, but, you know. Not anymore! Okay, I think I'm, I'm streaming now. Alright. Uh, we haven't uh, started officially, let it, officially yet, yet, it's just busy right now. Yeah. Uh, um, we'll wait for, first of all, it, like... Uh, we should post on Twitter and the Facebook page that it's live. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we'll wait for numbers to kind of creep up a bit before we properly start. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read some more forum posts. A few new biomes, box and tools. Another one of these. Oh no, it's just a continuation of this one. Let's change the title. All right. Um, so, uh, I wish people would wait until they saw the new biomes until su before suggesting other ones. Because they either come out incredibly similar to ones we've already got, or just overworld ones. Oof. Boo you. Twitch.tv <laughs> slash... Beautiful games. And there's a dog in my room. Just gonna quickly uh, close my door and then everything should be. What? Pan Dabby Dozen. Yeah, be right back real quick. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> the air wheels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're gonna do the air wheels. Haven't been there, Neil? Do I need threaded, light, threaded lighting? Uh, it's recommended because yeah, I'm gonna have it installed the, uh, now. Let me quickly yeah, uh, get that. It, still, it has that bug where it freezes every so often, generating a dungeon, so. Recommended to keep threaded lighting on with you. Oh my god. The dog that just came in my room now wants to go out. So. <laughs> Boo you. Yeah. Back again! As you can probably tell, I'm rather tired at the moment. So am I. <laughs> Long week. Mm. I hear. <laughs> yeah. How do you mm. enjoy your swimming to swimming into a uh, pool of brown <laughs> kidney beans? That smell like puke. Mm. I don't even know what a phone charger is. <laughs> what? Use Twitch itself. Oh, I also think this is a good idea. The background for the creating a world screen and the loading screen doesn't really fit with either. The loading screen could also have a bar show around the switch. Really has been annoying to me, so why not? Most problems are removed because it was impossible to implement after 1.2 plus IIRC. I bring back the tips then. Question. Uh, should we bring back the tips thing? What do you mean by the tips thing? Like the, uh, like the, the, the little pro tip things that were on the loading oh, yeah. screens. It would have to be updated a little bit, but I think it's possible. Yeah. 
Because, like, that, it, it, if one thing, of all things besides dungeons, people want back from the original either one, it's the little, it, it's, it's the menu, the main menu where it has, like, the actual area where you last logged out. Um, oh yeah, that was and cool. The pro tips. Yeah, it was really cool. I really liked that. Like the one time I got the A the one working before I before we started working on the A the two. I was really impressed by that. And then yeah. Like gotta admit, I haven't properly played the A the one before. Me neither. And it's like Yeah, I've got the, I've got an uh, an halo above my head. That's okay. cool. <laughs> all the um, all the eighty two developers and helpers get halos above their head. Nice. Because we got rid of the glow for uh, reasons unknown. <laughs> well, you know, I know you <laughs> hated it, so that's pretty much the reason why. Oh god, that was such a horrible idea. I wonder what came up with that. Uh, Starts with a J. Hmm. Alright, how, how, how many people do you think we should try and hit before we properly start? No idea. There are already quite some around, people. Around 30, I think. Yeah, All around right. 30. There are already 22 people. Yeah. Hi to everyone in the chat. Did you already tweet uh, we'll something? We'll be or? starting the stream properly in a second. Just want the numbers to grow a bit. I'm not sure if I'm actually recording this broadcast. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've already broken my one rule. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. did. Should I tweet out that we started or? Should you? I haven't yet. So should I? Yeah, yeah. Tweet it out. That'll, that'll push the views up. Uh, then we can probably start uh, introducing everything. It would be cool if people gave us money. Yeah. Just <laughs> <say anything. laughs> By the way, that red X meal used to be something um, really sad. <laughs> <laughs> the red X shows Mojang spite. Towards yes. a certain feature. And if you carry in a ma bag, it'll be black. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Weird enough. Oh shit. There is the uh, Alright, let's get this thing started. Because the numbers are dropping because it's boring, so. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Alright. Oh. Hey guys, Oscar Payne here. I am the lead artist for the A2. I'm joined by three wonderful people. Uh, I'm joined by programmer for the A2 and musician Emil. Hello. I'm also joined by two very special people who are developing a cool little project that is the A1, but you know, like updated. This is George. Introduce yourself. Hello. Alright, and Kino. Uh, hello there. And today we'll be showing off and explaining and doing all that stuff about the A the One re release. Um, so, yeah. Um, first off, I'd like to just explain why we're. Sorry, I need to burp. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> First off, I'd like to start by explaining why we're doing a stream instead of the normal scheduled videos. As you may have realised, we've missed a few weeks of the ML videos. This is mostly due to hotfix development, uh, complications with timing within the team, mostly to do with myself, and overall just general laziness. Um, <laughs> but today we thought as we're bringing back the AML section, trying to make it regular again, 
we do something a bit special, and because we're doing a bit of an odd topic this week, we want to make it even more special by making it a full live stream. Now, our original plan was to uh, upload it to YouTube afterwards, but I don't think we're actually recording this at the moment, which makes it even more special for you lot that are actually watching. Um, but yeah, this week we're talking about the A the One re-release. Uh, we're joined by the developers, obviously, and basically what's going to happen is I'm going to ask a few questions to for them. They're going to explain stuff about the project. Then we're going to do the normal Q&A section, except this time it's going to be a live Q&A. We're not taking questions from the Facebook page and stuff like that. We're going to take questions from the Twitch chat. And then we're just going to have a light-hearted discussion afterwards for a while, and then we'll bring the stream to a close. So... Or not. We'll see. <laughs> or not, yeah. Um, Maybe we'll be alright. So... First question that I'd like to ask is, uh, what brought you guys to start redeveloping the A the One? Um, you know, if you want to answer this question. Uh, sure. So, um, it all it all started when uh George asked me to uh, make a Valkyrie model and make it working for one six four, and so I attempted that. And it worked perfectly in some situations. And after that, everything just expanded. I was thinking in my mind, if I can do this, I can probably do more. And so after that, I asked George to uh, help me out and everything. And then everything just expanded from there. Cool. I... So basically it was, first off, uh, kind of small little idea of stuff and then it just blew up from there and eventually turned into completely yeah. redeveloping the either one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool stuff. Um and yeah, like how like in general, how's it been trying to recreate the original stuff? Uh but of course updating it to uh the new version of Minecraft which if I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of code changes, so like it's not just a port, it's a full recreation, isn't it? Um, essentially how it works is what the is the, what the 82 project did is start from scratch. Was it pretty much just porting everything that works and working around things that don't and recreating things that don't, or what scale of stuff is just plain old porting and what is recreation? in this instance? Um, to be honest, most of the blocks and items were recreated from scratch, and most of the entities are recreated from scratch. Like, um, entities like Cogatrices and um, MOAs and stuff, we were able to work around. Since, um, uh, they were just like the same thing and we could have just, um, George, can you uh, just explain? Um, with the entities, honestly, some of them were ports to updating code, then um, to even complete rewritten, such as the fire minion where it takes a little to no knockback anymore again. And like, honestly, like most of the uh, code that was rewritten had base code to work off. Yeah. Alright. Um, so... What has been, like... Well, of course, you're doing this voluntarily, like we do our work voluntarily as well. So there's got to be something driving you to do it. Well, what, what has been the main inspiration, the main driving force of you working on the project? Um, honestly, I've, uh, I've, I always, like, go to ifitu.com or the, uh, fa Facebook page and see, like, people are asking, like, for dungeons, for, uh, Aether 1 again, and, um, and honestly, it would, it would, um, uh, it's nice to have to see, like, a, a, a almost perfect port of Aether, 
honestly. So, I mean, we've noticed that it wasn't going to come out because you guys are busy with other projects. So, we decided maybe we can do something to help. And so that's technically our driving force for this whole project. Cool. Um, and yeah, just want to clarify to people who've just come in, we're talking about the either one recreation, re-release, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and yes, it isn't actually being developed by us at Gilded Games. Just got someone tweet us saying that they're disappointed that we're working on the A the one again, and that's why the A the two's taking so long to come out. That is that is not the reason. It is an external team, and we're very happy that people are so interested in our work that they even want to take it on themselves to do it. And yeah, just want to clarify that to people who have just come in. Um, yeah, no, that's that's really good. Yeah, like we have got a very rich community and I've got to agree that, that they ask for a lot of stuff that because we're working on other projects we don't have the time to supply for them so it's really good that you guys have taken it on yourselves to uh, to do this for them and obviously uh, we've sanctioned your uh, work on this as as approved and such obviously signified by King giving you the A1 source code um, but yeah, like, I'm personally really happy that this is happening, mostly yeah. because I didn't get to play the Aether 1 too much, um, so I'm actually, I'm going to be downloading this mod myself when it comes out and playing it, uh, just like I do with the Aether 2 really, but more because I actually want to play it, and it's also cool that it's not something I've worked on either. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like... That's really that's really good. I, I, it, it's it's nice that you guys are so uh, driven to do it as well. Like I've seen fan projects. Like if you just look on the either two dot com suggestion forums and stuff, people have ideas and things that they want to do and stuff. But not many actually have the determination and 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 the skill to go ahead with them. And like the thing that I'm personally most excited about is. Um, where this will lead next for you guys. So wh where, where do you see this going for you? Like maybe even after the Aether 1 re-release, like what, what will your next project be? Will you work together again? Or will you, will you try and expand your team? Or will you go separate ways and do separate projects? Um, to be honest, um, we're planning to stick together because um, we, we found it much easier to work as a team instead of work separately. And also we do have other plans. Uh, we have been planning to uh, revive other mods that have been dead for a long while. Uh, I don't... Uh, George, can you explain? Um, what do you mean by explain? Like the other mods that we plan to revive or...? Yeah, the other oh, mods yeah. that we plan to revive. We also plan to revive uh, many older, old big mods such as uh, Evil Minecraft that has uh, been dead for a while Hello. now. <laughs> That's quite a task. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is uh, quite an extensive mod, isn't it? It really is. And then some other mods that we, I've always wanted to play personally and I, was, I never had the chance to because, well, they're dead and I really don't have the time to really uh, downgrade Minecraft and then reinstall and such, so... Mm. Yeah, like, that's one. that's been one of the main complaints about how we handle A the 2 development, is we're usually, like, a version behind when we're developing, and I always argue that, like, the new Minecraft launcher and stuff really promotes, like, having different instances on different versions and everything being fine and dandy and stuff. Uh, but as you said, people don't really have the time or the like effort. They don't want to have the, go through the effort of um, downgrading their Minecraft to play an old mod. So it's it's really good to see you guys uh, updating other people's old abandoned projects and things. Because like as you said, with like Evil Minecraft, like how long has that been abandoned? Well, I say abandoned, just. Dead. More than a year, for sure. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the last time I saw its update, it was uh, 1.2.5 as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, like, I assume you're going to try and work with the uh, original developers as you have with the Ada 1 um, to try and get some of the source code from them and try and get sanction, sanctioned yeah. uh, approval yeah. from them and stuff. And, of course, like, you're starting off with a pretty uh, well-known mod as well, so, that like, that alone will get you some credibility for working on other mods as well, which is... Really good, yeah. It really is. And Jay Lato asks, when is airmail? We're doing it now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is airmail. Welcome to uh, airmail 8. I think it's airmail um, Yeah, and, and because since I said, like, for all the people who just joined, we're on 30 viewers, and now I'm 40 now. Um, yeah, this is, this is airmail 8. We're doing it live streaming because we're celebrating an awesome project that... Believe it or not, we're not actually working on, which is the either one update release thing. That's actually the footage you're looking at right now. It is the updated either one. I believe it's it's not quite done, is it? It still needs some polish, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, we have yes. Eda grass generating right now. That's why you don't see any grass currently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I'm so bad at noticing things like that. Probably why I'm not ideal for bug testing for the other two. Like, oh, uh, but anyway, um, what was the next question I was going to ask? Oh yeah, Emil, have you got any questions that you want to ask? Yeah, that, that's already w- that's already w- uh, work for multiplayer. Yes. Well, cool. Yes, it does. Only working in multiplayer, but it has two of the same main, major issues with uh, client side. Which is um, slider not being able to hit you, and hearts. What? Mm-hmm. Um, if you die with extra hearts, you lose them all. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. And I can see how that can be really annoying. Yeah. I forgot where I died. Also, many uh, Aether items will be returning in this. Aether 1 items will be, is going to be returning in this, such as the Shield Repulsion, which currently there is no shields, as as well as I know of currently in Aether 2, right? Yeah, currently we don't have any shields. Um, we're thinking about ways to re implement them slightly better than we did in the Aether 1. Uh, but at the moment, that's not really our focus because you know, we've got bigger things to work on. But I imagine they'll make a return at some point. But yeah. yeah. Currently there aren't shields in the Ava 2, so Yeah. Is the flaming sword back in as well? Yeah. Uh yes, it's the flaming sword is returned. Oh. Cause we only just re added that in the hotfix, I think. Um This isn't much of a task uh, to uh, update something like that. No, like it's weird. I I, I think the main reason, well, I may be mistaken, but I think the main reason we didn't re-add it was because of the enchantments and stuff. So oh. like, it was kind of negated by stuff like fire aspect. But people really disliked the fact that it wasn't back in. So I think we've just re-added it. For I was about to swear there. Um, for the lols is what I'll say. It's likely the case, yeah. Um. Yeah, so, when do you think, like, <laughs> I'm, I was, I'm about to ask about release dates, which is somewhat ironic, coming from a, the two developer, <laughs> but when do you guys think this is going to be out? Um, there's not much to do, actually, with uh, this release. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I would say sometime in early September. Alright. And uh, do you plan on adding any of your own flair to the mod, or are you going to keep it a no-nonsense kind of... uh, Um, We have added uh, one thing, but besides that, um, it's... um, I won't talk about it right here so people can guess what it is. (laughs) But that's that's really just the only thing we've added. Right now it's just a fully perfect port. 
Cool. Um, and as you said, you'll be doing this kind of thing with other old abandoned mods. Um, do you have it like, are you guys going to set up like a Facebook page? Do you have a Facebook page or stuff for like your work? Because um, I'm sure people will be really interested about when this releases and stuff. Of course, we'll probably post it on our Facebook page when it's released and stuff. But uh, for future projects, do you have anywhere that fans can look out for your stuff? Uh, right now we don't because um, we're just starting out small. Mm -hmm. But we might we um we might plan to make a Facebook page for all our posts that we do. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the formal questions stuff for you guys. So, uh, I guess we should move on to our live Q&A section that we're going to do. Uh, all right. So, yeah, you guys in the chat, throw questions our way. I'll be picking stuff out. The other guys will be looking in the chat as well. If anything comes up that they fancy, they'll, uh, they'll pick it out. I'll, and yeah, we'll just be doing a Q&A. Uh, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask these guys about what they're working on, that would be fantastic. If there's anything about mutation you want to like ask, just anything, really. Just going to do a live Q&A, and then uh, then we're going to do a uh, kind of general discussion here, and then we're probably going to see where that goes, and maybe in the stream after that. Yeah. So. Oh, the first question: Will it be as hard to install as the original either one? Um. um no. Wait, wait, wait. Can not. I can I got this question? Can I got this question. Okay. Yes. I'm just kidding. No, it's gonna be uh, as simple as eight to two. Just drag and drop to your mods folder with Forge installed, and you're done. Yep. Cool. It, Unless you. Yeah. Because um, any external things that we use is actually integrated into the uh, jar, so it's just all one jar folder. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And uh, here's a question about mutation. How will the new biomes, items, and systems on mutation affect the AOS? Actually, when mutation releases, the AOS is going to get wiped again. Uh, hopefully it won't be as down as long as it has been uh, after the hotfix, because we'll sort out plugins and stuff beforehand, and we won't be pushed for an early release date like we have been with hotfix. But yes, it will most likely be wiped again because, of course, we want people to experience the new features and stuff. And I'm not even sure world files from the hotfix will be compatible with mutation due to item ID conflicts and stuff. Um, but yeah, the AOS is going to get wiped with every major update, really. But uh, hopefully those will be as far enough apart for uh, you to experience all the content in the multiplayer before the server gets wiped again. Like, minor updates and bug fixes and stuff shouldn't affect the AOS, it's just everyone will need to have updated to it because we will update the AOS to the new versions. Um, but major updates, like our expansion packs and things, will uh, affect the AOS quite drastically. And my monitor just turned off. Um, So, I'm sure you guys know, but just in case, when I recently fought the slider boss, he destroyed all the dungeon blocks. Is that normal? That is normal. As an intentional feature, it makes it really scary, and it's awesome. Okay, let's try and find more ones about this stuff. Oh, here's actually uh, one that I've heard quite a lot. It's not about the A the One thing again, but... Uh, why doesn't your launcher work on Mac slash OS X? I'm not a programmer, so Emil, why, do, why doesn't the launcher work on Max? I don't own an AOS, for, like a Mac OS, so I'll probably have to have to ask someone else that. Um, <laughs> I think I think uh, one of our other coders that does use a Mac, so I'll probably have to ask him why it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Basically, like, like, I had not heard that it didn't work on Mac until recently. Yeah, me um, because I just seem to work exactly the same. Like it's a, it's a freaking jar. It shouldn't like yeah. it should be able to run it. There are a few um, differences with um, libraries. All kind of scary uh, stuff. Hmm. Um, 
There will be some sort of meme. Uh, no, we're not going to implement our own types of mini maps, and of course, when it relates to the either one thing, because they're making it a direct port kind of thing, I imagine they will not implement some sort of mini map. That's really up to uh, people who want to mod their Minecraft even further beyond the either. Yeah, there are, the there, there are already uh, tons of great mods that add mini maps, so. You could probably mm. just install it, install it next to the Aether. I recommend uh, Rai or Ray's mini map. Yeah, it's a it's a very good mod. And I think will all cool. the old Aether One dungeons be added re added in the Aether One port? Well, yes. Emil, would you like to show them? Yeah, I gotta get some stuff so I can beat them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have to beat them. Just go to it, find a dungeon, go and create it, and just find one. I already found one. This one, Dockery, or it's any? A uh, bronze one. A uh, bronze. The old one. Bronze is broken. <laughs> What's side is it? Is it? Okay. Well. So basically, yes, all of the Aether 1 dungeons have been re added in the Aether 1 re release. Um. Okay, this is actually quite an interesting question because it relates to art. Will you make <laughs> the new blocks more like the enchantment the enchantment table, which I assume he means the altar, or will they all be cubes? Um, really, it relates to what the function of the block is. Um, if something needs to be highly detailed, especially larger things like the new dungeon door, uh, they will be more... Um, detailed and naturally modelled, but anything that's like in the natural terrain, uh, anything that's like a craftable block that's mostly for decoration, most of them will be um, just cubes, just textures on a cube. Um, but because we're also in mutation working on architecture as well, because we have a new person who specialises in architecture, who's also my brother. Um, <laughs> we're, we're also going to probably be adding some new decorative blocks that may involve things like statues and different ornaments and stuff. And stuff. Um, but none of that's like confirmed features or anything, that's just stuff that we've been brainstorming together. But mostly new blocks will just be textures on a, on a cube. Um, no. People the stream is lagging apparently. Yeah, I think so. Just restart your stream, guys, if it is lagging. Just restart it. Mm, Alright, I need to turn uh, the quality down a bit. What was that weird cow dimension from the first day, though? Oh, the Moolands! <laughs> Actually, that's a fair point. Have the Moolands been, Moolands been added? Um. So this is all I'm gonna say about Moonlands. Alright, I'm done. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess you guys will have to find out for yourself whether the Moonlands has been added, whether it's been changed at all, if it has been added, or if it's been completely replaced with something else, maybe. I don't know. They're not giving me any clues, no matter how much I hit them, but, you know. Um... Uh... Oh wait, yeah. People are asking about capes now. Um, capes are being replaced with accessories, or in that case, some types of armor. Such as the uh, invisibility cape now being replaced with an invisibility gem. So, it would be much easier. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Oh, cool. that's something. Yeah, like, that's actually something, like, because questions aren't written, more questions aren't really coming in. Um, actually, here's one that I just want to quickly ask. Will you guys be creating 64 or 128 resource packs? Um, I'm actually starting work on my own vanilla Minecraft texture pack that will be HD, but there are no plans to make any official either resource packs that make it HD. Mostly because there's a lot of blocks and yeah, it we, we like to keep our stuff consistent with 
vanilla Minecraft, so when I eventually do come around to making my texture pack, I will probably add a the functionality to it as well, but there are no plans to make an official HD a the texture pack. But yeah, um, what I was saying um, is, uh, like, I like how we, we both as different teams have taken different directions in how to handle the cape replacements and stuff. Like, you've taken the incredibly logical route of just make other items that work exactly the same, that don't have the aesthetics of a cape, and we took the batshit crazy approach of creating pets for some reason. So, yeah. I just... Like, was there much discussion about what you were going to do to replace capes, or was it just kind of, yeah, we'll just make different items for them? It was okay. just, we, we were just going to make different items because we've already had an idea for Valkyrie Cape, which is going to be a uh, golden feather. They do exactly the same thing, so... <laughs> and then after that, it just escalated from there. Alright. Yeah, like, I think... Funny story with um, the companions idea. Uh, it was actually all me and... Brandon Pierce, otherwise known as King Vlogs, were talking about what we were going to replace uh, capes with, um, and like we were suggesting like boots, belts, hats, and all kind of stuff. And then and Hugo was in the background because that's when he still lived in the same place as me, and he just shouted, "Pats, make the bunnies do the things!" And I immediately went, "Oh, what a horrible idea! No, go away." But then eventually, like, Brandon was like, well, that could work. And then we did it. And it's one of the many, many uh, times that I've been wrong about something. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you add that you can sleep in the Ava, like an Ava bed? No, not yet. I believe it's actually a problem with Minecraft itself. It's hard to add beds into other dimensions. Um, but I'm a strong believer that we need some kind of uh, sleeping slash respawn point thing added. Um, but how we're going to do that, if we're going to do that, is still up for discussion, really. Something I've always wanted in Minecraft is an aesthetic armor slot. Uh, I assume that effectively means like Terraria, or Terraria, however you want to call it, don't hit me. Um, we've actually been talking about different aesthetic uh, armor opportunities and stuff. And yeah, we, we don't really know what we're going to do yet. A lot of things are in discussion. Um, like, with, with this kind of stuff, we want to not change how Minecraft works too badly, but we also want to add our own content, which in some ways limits us, but in other ways means we can actually improve upon what Minecraft does, while still keeping it similar to how it does it, which is cool. No, the bed, like, in the overworld. Yeah, I... I we know what you mean, like, with sleeping in the Aether. You can't sleep in the Aether. It is a thing that happens in vanilla Minecraft, and I have heard from people that it is, a, it is a problem, it is hard to fix. Like, not really hard, but just harder than it really should be. Yeah. Will you make the carrying spots horrible, like you can get a seed or something? I believe you can do that in Mutation. I may be mistaken. What? What actually? Either that. Or, uh. Uh. There. Planting <laughs> carrion sprouts. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that was possible. That is true. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Ava doesn't need hose to complement the tools, right? Uh. Yeah, the reason we don't have hoes is because we don't really have much farming at the moment. 
Um, mutation changes that slightly, and we have some features that we're going to talk about later that relate to farming and stuff. But yeah, the, the reason we don't really have hoes in the Aela, I say don't really, we don't have hoes in the Aela, is because uh, there's no real form of Aela farming except bashing bushes and stuff. That sounded wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, there is Aether grass. That can lead to many opportunities. Hmm. Yeah, this is true. Um, but with farming, uh, we... I, I, I don't want to say, like, we all have this, I, the, 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 this view, but um, I know definitely Brandon has the view that Vanilla Minecraft's farming system is incredibly exploitable and very and way too easy. So when we do implement proper farming, when slash if we implement proper farming, <laughs> um, it will be somewhat different to uh, vanilla farming. I think that that's one of the instances where we believe that the design inside actual vanilla Minecraft is not up to standard, so we're going to do something to change it, basically. But it won't interfere with how Vanilla Minecraft's farming works, like we're not changing game mechanics, we're adding new ones that will work in a similar fashion, but not exactly the same. When will the AOS be back up? Yeah. Oh um, my god, when, you guys just... Um, I don't to see this, uh, about the, uh... AOS. There is no ETA for the AOS. And Still not? People are working on it. Yeah, I was going to say we have some very dedicated people hard at work fixing some issues with it, uh, especially with plugins. I think we're having problems with compatibility with Cauldron or something. Um, and it's just causing a lot of problems. It will be. Uh, there's also a lot of exploits and things that people can use to do with plugins conflicting with the AO. Um It'll be up as soon as possible. We're not gonna we're not gonna dawdle around it. We're trying we're trying the best we can. But yeah, all I can say is be patient. Really, the AVA has been built from the ground up with single player in mind, and then built back up again with multiplayer functionality. So, the, the, the mod is still great in single player, and there are other people who have got servers, but, like, if, you, if your core experience really does come from the AOS, then all I can say is, be patient. Can you make Aether 2 work with Tropicraft? Is it not? Are there item ID conflicts? I don't know. Hmm. Just sucks. I swear I had Tropic Craft and saw it the same time as the at one point. I'm not sure about uh, it on the latest. Uh, uh, what I meant to say is, uh, right now the AV2 is still in alpha, and our focus at the moment is more getting our mod ready, less so than making it compatible with other mods. So, um, at, w at some point we will focus on functionality with other mods, but it is not now, that is not where our focus should lie. If we focus on that, things will take so much longer. So then we'd have to check through all of the popular mods and see if there are conflicts and what works and what doesn't. And then from there, that adds like three times as much more bug fixing because then it could cause bugs with other mods. And you know, compatibility is an issue that we understand people sometimes want to play with multiple mods on the same world and stuff. We understand that and we know it is unfortunate when our mod conflicts with other ones because then you either can't play the Ava or can't play something like Tropicraft. Um, so yeah, it, we understand that it's a pain if we did focus on that kind of thing, that kind of compatibility, releases would be so much slower. So we appreciate your patience with things like this. We are a pretty small team as well, but that's not really an excuse, but we're working the best we can to make the Ava as good as it can be, and once we've done that, 
we will make sure that the Aether works with everything else. And I hope that answered your question of can you make Aether 2 work with Tropic Rock, which I totally didn't turn into a massive tangent rant thing. Oh, so weird seeing the old book of law. Yeah. It's cool though. It took much time to fix it, but it works. <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly. Some spirit took like two weeks to fix, and the uh, actually the book of lore. When, when did we implement the book of lore? I don't really remember. I think the book of lore was before we added. It just appeared in lore, like, hey, look at the book of lore right now. Hi. Oh, we have another question, and it's purely use for air whales. Yeah, um, yeah. We have some stuff planned for air whales. We have. Their current yeah. use is to make the Ava pretty. So you know, like, I'd say they're doing that pretty well. You know, like, just just saying. But um, yeah, we have some stuff planned for air whales. Uh, also, you spell air whales wrong, I believe. Um, uh, um, but we can't reveal much of it at the moment. Most of it is actually post mutation, so you probably won't see it for a long, I'd say a long time, a while. Um, and also, really, anything post mutation isn't uh, set in stone yet. So, uh, if we talk about things that we're planning for things after mutation, Take it with a grain of salt, because a lot of it is just kind of, maybe we could do this, maybe we could do that. I know Elijah's been planning a lot of stuff for after mutation, um, and really there's little discussion about it, because we been focusing on development. So after mutation's done, we'll sit down and discuss what we want to do with it and stuff. But yeah, use for air whales, there is stuff coming, most likely. but. When is like it's probably going to be quite a while before you see that kind of functionality that you crave. So questions are slow. We have forty six people watching. And like, oh, okay. Oh, what dungeon did the red carpet come from? I assume that's what what done. Like we showed off a dungeon at one point and it had red carpet in it. And then it just mysteriously wasn't there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but really, because we're not we're not recording this, we're not uploading it to YouTube afterwards, are we? Um, yeah. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if it well, records it itself. Anyway, I'm going to talk about this anyway. We're going to redesign the Sliders Labyrinth in mutation. Which is what I was talking about with the architectural stuff, because we have a person who's more akin to architecture. We're redesigning it from a gameplay aspect as well, to try and make it a more refined experience. Um, that What you saw there was a very early version of the new Slides Labyrinth that we were using to test the new dungeon system in the new instances and stuff. Um, Oh, that's the thing. How long did it take us to get the old sliders, like I say old, the current sliders labyrinth into the new dungeon system? It was a pain, wasn't it? It just wouldn't go right. The generation was all off, all over the place for ages. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's a redesign of the sliders labyrinth. You probably won't see uh, that in mutation or later versions because uh, that was just really a test model of it. Um, but yeah, it was also to test out the new blocks that were in it uh, as well. But yeah. And yes, it is uh, the footage currently on screen is the new Ada One re-release that is currently in development with from uh, an external group. Which we have here today in the stream. So yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Oh god, so weird seeing Gravitite. It's just one colour. 
Uh, doing throwbacks to before I did texture work. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Really weird, because like, I didn't do the texture for the gravitite armor, but I did the texture for the entire enchanted gravitite block, which the, the armor was based off. Oh, yeah. Still looks nice though, so. Hmm. No one realizes that my plan is to slowly take over the development of the A2. You take over the development. You buy everything mm. of the other. Meep, if you have a suggestion about creature ideas, dungeon ideas, biome ideas, and whatever, head to Ava2.com. That's Ava2 with Roman numerals, as in II. Um, and go to the suggestion forums and put your suggestion there. And we have a team of very critical fans that will tear your idea to shreds. Aww. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, a, that's the sad part, it actually almost is almost true. Mm. So, well, it seems the questions are kind of burning out. People really seem to have said what they want to say. Yeah. So, I guess we can start having a casual discussion. If there are any questions that pop up, we'll uh, just answer them. Yeah, we'll just answer them on the fly. Um, so, this is something that people are, have asked me before, and I asked other people, what got you guys interested in the Ava in the first place? Um, for me, the first actual video I've ever seen of the Ava was, uh, Yogg's Cast was the first video I've seen, and then I really was interested in the beginning, so I just stopped watching it after a while. Okay. So, after uh, after a while, I started seeing other people play it, such as uh, Sly Fox Town, um, uh, T Bat. Yeah, T Bat. Like it was like uh, was he like a original beta tester for it? Yeah, yeah. he was. He helped us yeah. a bit. And also, uh, Paul says Junior was um, playing it, and a few others. They can't remember. Yeah, I think. But uh, my first. Oh, no, no, you can see, you can see. Alright, my first uh, viewing of the Ada was uh, through Ant Venom's videos, and to this day I keep messaging him on Twitter and on his videos and stuff that I owe my career entirely to him. Because if it wasn't for his playthrough, I wouldn't have gotten interested in the mod, I wouldn't have applied to be artist and stuff. I wouldn't be where I would be today. <laughs> Yeah, so check out Ant Venom. It's pretty cool. And by me, I've uh, oh yeah, uh, I've known King Midoxi was basically the lead of the project for about like six years already. I've worked it with him for another mod for uh, Warcraft Three, and then later I discovered he was working on the Aether, and it said like, "Hey, could I help with some music for you?" And I was like, "Okay," and now we're working together, and I've been with the team basically since the beginning. And now you're programming. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. And, like, I, I've told this story so many times, but I'm going to tell it again because now we're streaming to more than four people. And, like, I remember when I saw on the Ada Facebook page that they needed artists, I was like, oh, oh my god. Um, and I can't believe I applied with the artwork that I did because it was so poor quality. Uh, I can't believe that. Uh, I think it was a uh, shocker was the person who was looking about it and told me that uh, I should come on the Nibit chat and stuff. Um, but yeah, like it was shocking quality, like. And, and not gonna sugarcoat it, it, it was possibly some of my worst work ever. I think I'll go back and find them. Ah, oh, oof. They, they are horrible. Um, but yeah, and, and then I was not trusted to do textures, models, anything really. I was purely a concept artist and a bad one at that. Um, 
And then the other artists left. Yeah, Wu. Um, Wu was the first artist. Uh, I don't even remember him. <laughs> like, the artists before you guys started hiring ones for the either two, or. Yeah, the before you. Movement. I can't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, many of them. I remember the two other people that are hired around the same time as me, which was uh, Seth and the Pumpkin Spice. And the Pumpkin Spice didn't speak oh, yeah. once and made one drawing. And Seth only made one drawing but spoke to us a lot. Um, yeah, no, they were good. They were good. Well, Seth was a good person. He said, never spoke to the Pumpkin Spice because he never spoke to anyone. Um, yeah, eventually everyone else left, and then more people. Like, I tend to remember the team went very, very small at one point. And then, we hired Jarrett to help program. So then it was King, you and Neil, me, Jarrett, and... Uh, I think... There were still some other people there from the Ada One. Yeah, and then we started like on stuff. And then suddenly I was like King was like, We're gonna make a Skyroot crafting bench and I was like, Can I do it? And he was like, Oh come on then And then I did and then he liked it. And then I did some other ones, like the Enchanted Gravitite, which he also liked after so many iterations of it. And then I made the ice zone, and it's possibly the worst texture ever made <laughs> outside of Divine RPG. Ooh. Yeah. And I, that, that was, that was a horrible uh, texture. Yeah. I'm really not proud of the old ice zone texture that I did. Mm. The was like, we want to filter out all the recolors from vanilla textures, and I was like, Okay, let's start with ice stone. And then, uh, and then he was like, we need to make it look icy. And what I tried was blue, and it just made it look like chalk. Which, like, whenever I was like, hate the ice stone texture, either people were like, you're just a hater, and I'm like, I made it, but, you know. Or people were like, how? I love it. Which really goes to show that we do actually have some fanboys that will like anything we put out. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I was not trusted to do textures or anything for a very long time, and when I did, the quality of it wasn't even that great. And now it's all better. Anyone else got any topics to talk about? I'm running for an hour. Oh god. Yeah, I thought an interesting question. <coughs> Are we going to Minecon? Ooh, yes. Minecon. If it's in London, and if it's at a good time, it is in London. and if we can get tickets, they, they said they've been aiming for London, haven't they? Oh, aiming for London, okay. Yeah. Not really hard to miss London. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. City, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if, if, we, if we can get tickets, and we can organise transport and stuff, we will probably most likely be going to Minecon. Yeah. And then we will all meet up and be really awkward around each other, because we don't actually really know each other. We don't actually so, really like each other either, to be honest. Especially no, at Chicago. Really hate you. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I have a question myself. Um, are you guys going to have a booth? So that, you know... Yeah. You can... It's probably going to be really, really difficult to organize, but if, if there's a possibility to, you know, yeah, that would be really nice. Mm. But what really matters is we need money and, like, you mean, basically. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. We do actually, with, with this kind of stuff, we will rely on donations to fund it. If we don't have enough to fund it, we'll either not do it, or it will come out of our own pockets, and we'll just bother you for money later. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, yeah. We will most likely be going to Minecon. Whether we'll have a booth or a panel or anything, it, like, ideally, I'd love to have a booth, and I'd love to have shirts, 
and plushies and stuff for people to buy <laughs> yeah. for your money. And we can Air sign plushie. concepts. Air bunny plushies would be awesome. Except we didn't design air bunnies, they're the most creature bunnies in texture, but you know. Oh. Okay. There's no copyright on them. Wait, did I it, think. Did it no. Be, uh, no, he allowed us to. He allowed them to use them. Oh yeah, it, like, I'm not saying we wouldn't be allowed to use them, I'm just like, kind of, uh, find that we didn't design them. And like, I wouldn't be proud giving out, not giving out, selling like plushies of a thing that we didn't really design. But I'd, I'd happily like, sign concept art and stuff, because then not only do you get my uh, amazing artwork. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you'd also get my signature, which would be in pen, made from ink things. But yeah. Oh really? I'm plastic. Yeah. Yeah, like ideally we'd want a panel, and like, ideally we'd want a booth, maybe a panel where we can talk about modding and stuff, and I can sit there quietly as people ask questions about programming and not artwork and I just go, you oh. um, <laughs> But organising it will be difficult, most likely, um, and it might be costly. So, uh, we really rely on you guys, <coughs> as usual. Um, so, out of the good of your hearts, give us all of your money. Oh, that's going to work. No, and yeah, I, I live in uh, I live in the Netherlands, so London is pretty close to me. I can just go by the train. Only problem is I will have to find a place to sleep. I think. Like, wow. would you sleep wow. at home for you? Oscar? Yeah, I'd, I'd sleep at my at my home. The train's not much to London. Okay, um, that's nice. And like. If any of the team do need accommodation, I do have quite a lot of space in my house as well. Nice. <laughs> and if any fans need accommodation and like being molested, you know, <laughs> hey, my hey, door hey. is always open to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brenda can of course sleep at his girlfriend's. Oh, uh. 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 But yeah, Brendan would have to go to, like, from Australia to London. That's quite a quite a distance. It's also very expensive to fly from Australia. Yeah. From my uh, aunt who lives there, but she's rich, so you know. Oh, that's fine. Mm. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, you're young. But... It's funny. Yeah, so yeah, our plan is to go to Minecon as a team and do stuff. We should definitely get t-shirts printed for at least us. Yeah. That would be awesome. It's not expensive. And we definitely, definitely need to get tickets. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. <laughs> yeah. Because I think uh, this is sold out like a minute. We, we, we need to hire some gremlins to just be constantly refreshing a page. <laughs> yeah. Tickets open and then immediately go, No, 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 And get us. Is it eight or is it seven or is it nine? I don't know. How many Tickets? people are we now? No, I mean, like, how many members are we? Oh, no, well, it depends who wants to go. I mean, I, I kind of want to go. Yeah. I, I want to go as well. I, I think Hugo will want to go. No? Hugo will want to go. Oh, he will want to go, okay. No, uh, I don't want Jarrett to go. Nah. <laughs> Wow. I, th I think bots will go, I hope. Mm -hmm. Be nice. He's been before, hasn't he? Yeah, but yeah. That, but in the States. Yeah. There was but no like... last year. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Emil is up. If you ever wanted to try. User you joined your channel. Sorry? Not joined. Hey, Jenny Bunny. Oh, no. Unmute. I love you. <laughs> Okay. Um, Oscar, if you, if you want to join the server, here you go. Oh, there's server uh, on. Uh, it's fine. I won't. I'm actually uh, doing some very important work for the donator system now. Oh, you know. 
Yeah. I actually am. What the hell? Wait, so what's the server? Um, in the buggers. In the buggers? Yeah, the buggers that we almost never use. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Beautiful port. Uh, anyone got any more questions? If there aren't any questions, I think we could pretty much wrap up the stream. Any questions? That's been dead for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I Thank you. guess that's the end of it. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave feedback about this on our Facebook page. Uh, whether you like the fact that it was a stream, whether you hate the fact that Emil's stream is laggy, uh, whether you hate Jarrett like we all do. Um, no, 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 no. Stuff. <laughs> yes. And John says hi. Hey, John. Yes, and hi, John. Hey, John. Um, so, yeah. Now, I've got to talk to people about how I'm wrapping up as well. Uh, uh yeah. John. Did you hey. delete any config that was written over there? Anyone got any final things to say before we stop? Doesn't seem so. <laughs> Alright, I, I, got, I got one. Yeah. Move around in poison mode. Then. <laughs> I, I've oh. got one. I've got one. Subscribe to kill the games on YouTube. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. Uh, Bye. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. See you later.